it, it's really been on my mind lately about when we dreamed up replenish, we were thinking we were going it definitely one direction. Um, we were going to have in-person retreats with hot springs and everything. And then the pandemic hit. And in some ways, it's just opened up, I think, a lot more of our seeing what people really want and need. And that's what I'm excited about right now, because it's such a difficult time for so many of us. And what are the things that we can talk about, even with Replenish, I think that people might say, wow, that's me. And I really would love something like that. So what have you been thinking about? Yeah, I love what you said. Um, I've been thinking a lot, you know, I'm a therapist and I have a private practice and I talk to a lot of people experiencing a lot of different things. And I've just been noticing a lot of heaviness lately for a lot of people and um, grief over life that's changed a lot, a lot of uncertainty and a lot of um, fearfulness and feeling like the future feels different or out of our control or, or confusing. And I know that's a universal experience for a lot of people across the globe right now with COVID and a lot of the other things that are happening. So I've just been thinking about the work that you and I have been doing with Replenish and feeling um, grateful to be able to offer a place of of respite or rest for people because I'm really noticing that that's what people need and are yearning for. And um, we have something coming up that I think is gonna really offer that some rest and replenishment and also some, um, some understanding and tenderness around what people are experiencing. Love that. And I love your word respite. And I also love the word tenderness because I think both of us, and I worked as a therapist for almost 20 years, are really aware not only when you sit with people and listen, but you also have to be in touch with your own needs and what you need. And what I love about what we just created with this Easy Creativity Spa is again, we're saying, I would like this, I would want this, <laughs> because none of us needs another commitment. We're busy, we're stressed. It's like we need stuff, but we don't have much time to get it. And, and we can't do something that's too complicated. So here's what we dreamed up. A week of just juicy replenishment, creativity boost, wellness tips, movement, all kinds of things, all packed into just 15 minutes a day on a lunch break. So Monday through Thursday, we are, we are getting on there and doing some things together, good conversation on a Friday when we end. It's a happy hour, creativity happy hour, which can look any way you want it to. Where again, we're just engaging and, and connecting with other people who have similar life experiences, desires, dreams, hopes, creativity needs, where we're going to work with creative blocks, we're going to give you ideas, we're going to send you out with resources and tips. I, I just, this is the kind of thing I would love to go to. So what do you have to say about it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would, I would love and I'm very excited to, to um, be participating. I think that we heard from our community that their eyes are tired from Zoom and their bodies are tired and they're busy, even though, you know, some people had the fantasy that maybe working from home for those of you that do would be easier. You'd have more time. A lot of us are actually more busy than we've ever been. And there's a lot of demands on our systems right now. And I keep hearing people say, I know I need to take care of myself. I know, I know, I know, but I just can't, I can't find the time. I can't find the way I can't find the path forward. So our hope was just to take that collective experience and create something that really felt easy with yes. had an easy access point, but also felt like the nourishment and connection and creativity that people needed. That is so well said because, you know, I'll hear the word self-care and say, oh, I know that's important, but then my mind goes to an hour long massage. Well, I can't go get a massage. <laughs> I can't, instead of, oh, if you just have little tidbits they can do wonders for you. And who wants to be overburdened by self-care? All right, mm -hmm. that's just defeating the purpose. It's kind of yeah. like, oh, another your... thing. I'm not yeah. doing good at self-care. 
you know, it's just like, it, and that's what we're trying to get away from, you know, really something that people can enter, we can all enter together, get something that we need, have some, uh, some goodies to take with us on the journey. So I, that's why I'm so looking forward to this. And I know Gina is too. So. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want, we don't want to uh, put one more thing on the to-do list. Right. Uh, for people. Self -care <laughs> I don't. Often gets in that category. Yeah, <laughs> certainly me either. I don't have the time, but I know I need to take care of myself. So we're just, we're really excited. We hope that everyone um, will take a look at um, our easy creativity spa and join us. If you have the time and you have the energy and you have the space, um, Joy and myself and Gina Bria are going to be offering all sorts of tidbits the whole week. So please check it out. I'm excited. Hope, hope we see all of you there. It'd be great.